talk about some of the common errors that you're going to see on your road test uh, if you're taking this uh, thing early in the morning. So I'm driving at the speed limit. Uh, we have our edge line to the left, which is the warning line. We have our broken white lines. This tells me that I can make a lane change because traffic is moving around direction. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. My exit is about two miles away. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over early. I'm gonna take my time. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. So I'm set in my lane. So I'm maintaining my speed in position. But I have a car that's speeding to my left. So I just wanna maintain my speed in position. I wanna take my time and I wanna be really smooth. Uh, it is very windy out here. So I wanna keep space and just hold my wheel firmly. As you can tell, there's a car cutting over. So lane changes without blinkers are some of the most common offenses. Uh, we're starting to back up with traffic, so I just lightly tap the brake, increase my following distance. You have to have great vehicle control. Your road tester won't tell you that you don't have vehicle control. They're just gonna mark you down and be really hypercritical of the look fors. And some of the look fors are lane positioning having good space and speed management. My blinker's on three times. The car behind me almost cut into the inside of me. So it seems like they're in a hurry. Now this particular exchange, it gets really crowded really fast. The road testers will take you, or the DMV testers will take you on a route that has been t determined by the state, by the county, or by the US federal government. So I'm maintaining my speed and position. I'm coming off nice and smooth and I'm taking my time. So we now have space, but the car behind me is tailgating me. So you have things to decide. Maintain your speed and position, take your time. Uh, we're at about uh, 47 to 52 miles an hour. And then uh, in some states or provinces, you cannot cross the white line. I'm getting ready to have broken lines. I'm looking over my shoulder, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I get into the first lane. Now I'm up to speed, but I have a hazard in front of me. I have a big truck. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna keep my space. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I get over one lane to the right. I maintain my speed. I'm in an open lane. You wanna shoot for three blinks of your blinker as minimum. And your road test is going to look for consistency. One blink is not enough. Two, eh, it's okay. Three is idea. So I'm maintaining great speed and position. I'm taking my time. But the car in front of me is slowing down, so I'm going to increase my following distance. That is a great test question that people often miss on the DMV test. More on that later. Uh, if you find my channel useful, I need you to subscribe. It's called Driving with miles. This is for all drivers. The focus is uh, students uh, getting ready to take their VM, VMD, VM, the Department of Motor Vehicles <laughs> test, or you're going to be taking your road tests. Uh, so my speed control is even. I'm smooth. I'm going to make a lane change to the right. Mirror turn signal blind spot. I accelerate through my lane change. A driving error would be as if a lot of beginning drivers don't accelerate through their lane change. You have to accelerate through your lane change. You have to maintain and have good speed and position. Also, a lot of beginning drivers drift to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drifting to the right and show you. This is what they do. And if you hear this, you are off the road and you definitely will create a dangerous condition. And in the winter time, that could cause you to go off the road. So I'm taking my time, I'm keeping my space. I have decisions to make. My exit is about a mile away. Do I speed up and cut off the truck? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay behind the vehicle. I have speed, I'm not running late, I'm safe. Because when you are late, that is the number one reason why you speed and why you cut in. As you can also see, it's starting to rain. So for the first 15 minutes, that is the most dangerous time because the water, oil, and gas, and grit are mixing. So I'm gonna turn on my blinker. I'm deselling, I'm off the gas. Now we're gonna enter a really sharp and dangerous turn. So it's called a cloverleaf. So I'm just going on my brakes real smooth and easy. And if you go over the lane to the left, which is the warning lane, 
you'll receive a minus. You have your Chevron alignment signs, right? You can't see it, but they're skid marks. Someone went off into the ditch. You have your edge line to the right. So now I'm taking my time, but there's a truck coming to the left. The one thing you notice that I try to do consistently and you need to start doing is checking those mirrors. I'm making a lane change to the left, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I'm taking my time. As you can tell, the visibility is a little sketchy. So I'm just gonna take my time, be smooth, keeping my space. You don't wanna stay in the blind spots of trucks. We talked about this before, and I will, uh, in a series, talk about that further. We have a really sharp curve, so you have to drop your speed before you get into the curve, and you can tell that I'm navigating really smooth around the curve and taking my time. And I'm actually looking around the curve. A lot of beginning drivers just look ahead of them, just where the car is. And this is a sure way to rear into one. See, there's a semi truck up there. And now we have a red light. In most areas around the world, red means stop. Now you can turn on red at this light if traffic clears so I'm looking ahead traffic has cleared but we have a big truck ahead of us they are much longer it takes them more time to get up to speed so we are just sitting here which is fine so you check your mirrors to make sure people are coming around that curve hot coming around fast and you don't get rear-ended I light just turned green I'm looking to the left I'm looking to the right I'm checking my speed and position yes the truck is shifting gears doing the best they can we're going about five miles an hour. So you just take your time and be patient. If you're behind the truck, the best thing I can tell you is be patient, increase your space, and take your time. So we're gonna go ahead and just take our time. Eventually I'll be able to change lanes, but right now I'm just being patient. So I'm gonna make a lane change to the left, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I accelerate up to speed. I'm looking over my right shoulder the vehicle is in my mirrors, I made my lane change, but guess what? I still have trucks in front of me, so it still doesn't make a difference. But keep space, debris, trash, glass, rocks will fly off and hit your windshield. And no one wants to have a rock in their grill early in the morning. If you find this channel of value, please subscribe to my channel. It's called Driving with Miles. Also, I'm known as the funny guy at the funny underscore guy two on TikTok. I have 160,000 followers and 3.1 million likes. We discuss driving, road test prep, uh, test prep. So I hope you find this channel of value. I'm going to make a lane change to the right mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I have an open lane. We're going uphill. So a lot of students also have questions while parking up and downhill. I will make a series on that, but my foot is off the gas. So I'm taking my time, I'm being patient, I'm letting gravity pull me down, and I'm safe. The light just turned yellow. Once you enter the intersection, you have a right to leave it. So I'm maintaining speed and position, I'm taking my time, I'm being patient, it is super important. Another common error is going over speed on the road test. If you go over speed, that is grounds for failure. Uh, the road tester will not warn you. Remember, we are in a pandemic. There are hundreds, if not thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who are taking the road test. So they're not going to be very lenient on you making mistakes. And they're simply going to mark you down and you're going to fail your test. So you really want to be on top of your driving fundamentals and I will have a series of videos to help you prepare for the road test because it does create, and that's another situation of a yellow light. So now we have double lights. I'm at the point of no return because I'm traveling at the speed limit and a light just changed. Would you get marked down for that? I don't think so, but it would come up on the road testers radar that you're catching these yellow lights. If you make a big deal of it, they might. So, always have good speed control, always look ahead, always scan. That is super important. So now I have an open lane, but it is dangerous because animals could pop out. Uh, you could go over speed. There could be debris in the road. 
Uh, it is early morning. We have people coming home from midnight shifts, so you always have to be a defensive driver. I appreciate you and love.